and welcome back to my next video. Right now I'm shooting this video inside my ambulance. I told you when I bought it that uh, one of the reasons I did it was to have it inside uh, studio. I don't have one. If the weather's bad, I just can't shoot and so on. Uh, and I like to be able to do things out of the wind and, and uh, weather and etc. So I'm going to shoot a, an unboxing today. And I think unboxings work exceptionally well here. This is a Gulu uh, jumper pack, jump starter, a GP4000. So I own, well, I bought the ambulance and I, it has the 6.6 .6 liter diesel, Chevy diesel. And it's a fantastic engine, fantastic engine. Um, but my batteries have died on it. I think they were just old when I got them. I had noticed a few times that they were struggling. And uh, I was in the middle of nowhere when they finally just upped and died. I mean, there was just nothing left. So I have the new batteries on board with me, and I'm going to put them in soon. And, but I've had to, because I was out in the middle of nowhere, and I had to be driving around, I've been jumping the diesel off of this Gulu GP4000. hope you can see that okay. It's hard to believe, and I'm going to show you starting it, because it's, I still haven't replaced the batteries. I'm going to do them on two days from now. Um... I had to order the batteries and wait for them to come in because I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. I, I had to pay like $300 for this up each. And I take two of them up front. And also the house batteries on the coach itself were shot. And I don't know if I can replace just the house batteries or uh, if that if they're dead. They are completely dead. Um, and if they're pulling off of the starting batteries and that's why the battery, starting batteries went dead. I just don't know those things. I'm going to replace them all at once. So I have to wait for them to come in. And in the meantime, I have to drive the, the rig. And that means it's a dead battery. I don't want to jump it all the time. I've been using this thing. This belongs to a friend. And so I went ahead and uh, ordered one of my own. We're going to do an unboxing of it right now. This is what the unit looks like. Uh, and this is the part that just goes in. And I'll sh I'm going to actually jump it because I'm going to have to jump it a couple times before uh, I get this video done. So we're going to do this unboxing with this Gulu uh, jump starter right now. These lithium jump starters are fantastic, just fantastic. This is an enormous engine. You, none of you are going to have a, an engine that's harder to start than this one unless you're driving around a full-size truck. Uh, tractor trailer or something or, or a 30 foot box so if it'll start my 6.6 .6 diesel it'll start your 6.7 ford or whatever we've got it it's just amazing so we're going to do an unboxing of this now so you can see it the regular price on this thing is 152.99 right this minute in september 14th of 2021 they have a 32 30 dollar off coupon so i paid 122 dollars for it Gulu rates it as starting all gas engines. If you have a gas engine, this will start it. And if you have uh, up to a 10 liter diesel engine, it'll start it. Well, there are no, you know, that that's a really huge truck engine is 10 liter. So it basically, they're claiming it will start any engine that you might own. And with my 6.6, .6, I've proven uh, it'll go up to 6.6 .6 easily. It start. You're going to see when I start this thing, it's just going to start right up. And it comes in this really nice case. Uh, really nice case. Uh, so here's the case, and let me uh, open that up. Is there anything going to fall out if I open it up? Uh, and you can see inside, it's pretty well packaged. On this side are all the little parts and pieces, and on this side is the unit itself. Let's pull that out of there. And a manual, cards, junk, basically all kinds of stuff. So there's the manual for the jump starter and warning cards and sitting there. It's the end of the world if you don't do exactly what I say and so on. And then inside here is a, the actual unit, fully charged before use. Uh, and because I've been borrowing my friends, they charge really fast. So you can see right here, I, I when you push that, it has a battery meter and it's at three quarters, three bars, three out of four bars. And I have never gone below three bars. I mean, after jumping this a couple times on a trip into town, it still will go up down to about three bars. And it charges up uh, with a USB-C really quickly, really, really quickly. I mean, half an hour, an hour, and it's completely charged again. Uh, I've been just so very happy with this thing. Uh, let's see what else we get. So it has a um, little zippered pouch on this side. And then, like I just showed you, it comes with... 
this and this is what actually jumps. It makes it so convenient. I have 20 foot jumper cables with me, uh, two gauge. I mean, I like, I like, I lived in Alaska all my life and jumping cars is a, a routine way of life. But it has, I don't know how close I can get that in there and let show, show you that. You can't put this in wrong. Uh, it, it goes right, it can't go in wrong. It has to go in right. It has a uh, little compartment here, a little compartment there that you, uh, so it breaks down smaller. I think, I'm sure that's the whole idea. You can see it just pops right in here and screw, and pops in, and now it attaches really well. I've never had a slightest problem with this. And, it, you know, you might think, well, those are awful short cables, Bob. But I, you set it right beside it. Uh, you know, you can put it right beside the battery, and I've never had the slightest problem with these cables being too short because this is so movable. I have 20-foot jumper cables with me that I use also, but I don't always have friends around me. In fact, recently I have not. So if I didn't have this, uh, well, that's not true. I have a big house battery set up. I can jump off my house batteries. That's a huge diesel. And with the batteries as shot as they are, I've had cars that I could not jump it off of, but it always starts off this, I'll show you. Now it has an interesting thing that uh, fooled me for a little bit. And I'm, you're not gonna be able to see this. Maybe I can show it to you. It's not hooked up when I, but you won't be able to see it. Right here, there's a button called boost. And it will not start my 6.6 .6 Duramax unless I hit boost. Once I hit boost, it'll just barely turn it over and won't really get it started. But once I push the boost button, and I don't know what that means, it reserves some part of the battery, I guess. Uh, it doesn't use it all until you really have to have it. But when I push the boost, boost button, and my goodness, it just fires my diesel up like it was nothing so that's uh that's it and what else do you get you don't get a whole lot else uh this it charges with usb-c it comes with a, a, a standard usb-c cable and it comes with a wall outlet it charges it's a little faster i think it's a quick charge uh because it does charge pretty fast uh and so it also comes with a c to c cable so if you have uh c to c is almost always faster so it ha comes with a c to c and a usb a to usb c cable and finally it comes with a cigarette lighter plug you say well why does it come with a cigarette lighter plug very very cool thing that it does uh it has where is it here on the side you see it here on the side i'm hoping you can see that where's the light at? like that you plug in this and now you can plug anything that uses a cigarette lighter plug and draw it off of this. I love that. I've, I've run fans off this. You can run anything. You can use this as a battery bank, a very big battery bank. Uh, and it's not even a bad price for a big battery bank and including the fact that it'll jump almost any engine built. This thing is a stunning deal. Uh, and so I really, that's this is one of the reasons I bought it was so I could... Uh, I could use it with uh, the 12 volt jumper. And here on the back, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this off here. Uh, here on the back, you'll see that uh, it's got a USB A and a USB C. So let's say I'm out in the middle of nowhere and uh, my phone dies or my fan dies or whatever it is, my USB, B, whatever my USB device is, it dies. Well, I can just plug it in here and charge it off this like a battery bank. And as you can see, it has a light. Okay, so you can see uh, by press, multiple presses, and it goes off. Oh, okay, <laughs> go off. <laughs> okay, now it's off. And I think you have to press and hold a bit, and it's on. And you can see it's a pretty darn bright light. Uh, it's really impacting the... Uh, you can't, but you know, I've got, I've got the sun shining in my face and you can see it's, it's showing a good light. And then you can press it a couple times. Emergency light. And this could be, this could be a lifesaver here. You're on the broke down on the side of the road. You pull this thing out and you got an emergency light. It's a good bright light. People will see you and maybe hopefully not run into you. And that's in the middle of the night in the dark. That's a very good thing. And you can change the blinking. Oh, that probably says SOS or some crazy thing, some gimmick, but it's not a bad idea. Okay, so I'm going to jump it with the new uh, jumper pack. It's in here. Uh, and 
And now you can see, this is the, you can't really see it. It's kind of buried, the whole engine's buried. It's a big, big, big engine in a small truck bay. So it's here, I'm gonna turn it over. You should hear it, just click, click, click. That's it, then I'm gonna hook it up and then turn it over again and it should roar right to life. Let's see what happens. So you heard it, uh, click, 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 it's just completely dead. The batteries are completely shot. Now we will throw this on it and see what happens. So you can see there's a green light on. That means I've got the boost and everything's good. And you know, look how easy it is. You think, well, they're awfully short, but they only have to go this far. So red first. And then uh, black, it's a tight fit. There's all kinds of things going on in here. Okay, I got the boost button on. Let's see what happens. It should just roar to life. Um, that's always been my experience. You're never going to go wrong if you give it a few minutes to drain off of the um, off the jumper. But I don't. It's never needed it. It just always started it. Let's see what it does. So now you can't hear me. So there you go. You can see that uh, it just fires it right up. Uh, it'll start a 6.6 .6 diesel without the slightest bit of problem. Uh, so as you can see, I had to get out of the wind. The wind was blowing and I'm standing there beside the engine. You couldn't hear anything I was saying. So as you can see, this thing works. It really just fires up the diesel at 6.6 uh, .6 Duramax diesel like it's nothing with a totally dead battery. So I, I'm... These get my greatest, highest recommendations. I think they're something you should, everyone should have. Do you need the biggest, best one? Yeah, if you ever stop and want to need to help a friend with a 6.6, .6, you know it'll work. If it'll work for a 6.6, .6, it'll run work for anything you will ever run across. So, um, highly, highly, highly recommended. Uh, I'll have a link in the description below to Amazon. I'll make a small percentage. It's I'm an affiliate, so I'll make a small percentage. And um, uh, right now it's on sale. It's $152 on sale, 30 off. Use a coupon. You got to click the coupon or you won't get it. And I think you'll be really ha happy that you did. Okay, if you've got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now. Are brand new to the road or would just like to see everything in one place, Bob is offering classes on Skillshare and Udemy.com. It's a comprehensive nomad course that has five and a half hours of content spread out in 19 classes with everything you need for your life on the road to make it the best possible experience it can be. Bob covers all the details from solar and internet options to where to park and how to stay clean, working on the road, traveling on a budget, and so much more. So we hope you'll check it out, the ultimate crash course to living on the road, how you can afford a life of travel and adventure.